Hi, I'm Dr. Brett Rayner, uh, orthopedic surgeon here at Texas Orthopedic Associates in Dallas, Texas. So as a sports medicine doctor, I see a lot of people for hip pain, especially our young active population uh, for hip pain. And the most common cause of that is something called a labral tear. Um, and what that means is the hip is a ball and socket joint. Sitting on the edge of that socket is a little bumper called the labrum. And here's kind of an example of that. It's this little kind of gasket that sits around the edge of the socket. And that can get torn in a large percentage of people. And the truth is, is we've done studies. We looked at people walking across the street, no hip pain at all. And about 80 to 90 percent of people uh, even can have a hip labral tear and not even know it. But some of these become painful. And sometimes it's related to the head ball not being perfectly round or the socket being a little bit too deep. And then they bump up into each other, pinch that labrum and create tears. And that labrum has pain fibers in it, so it hurts when it tears. And also your body can sort of sense that tear and create a little bit of micro instability that can sometimes cause that pain as well. And so a lot of times we try and get patients better without surgery, but after it's had just failed to get better and if some, some of these tears just won't stop hurting on their own, we have surgery for that where we can go in with a camera and repair that labrum. And so what we do is we go in and just imagine this being the edge of the hip socket. Uh, we can... If the, if the labrum is separated away from the edge of that socket, we can tack it back down and we use these, uh, these instruments called suture anchors, which go into the bone and then deploy and allow us to sew things right back where they came from. And uh, these knotless anchors that we use, these Arthrex knotless fiber tacks, it's all suture and it goes into the bone and then balls up and then has suture coming out of it. And this knot list of design is actually really nice because this one in particular, we can put the anchor in first and deploy it and then know that it's in the right position and then we can still pass the stitches around the labrum or through the labrum and then cinch it down. It's kind of like one of those finger traps. And then when he goes in and we pass it around, we can see that this suture is now around the labrum and holds it up against the edge of that socket. Now in addition to that, what we also try to do is correct some of the bony problems that can lead to that labrum tearing in the first place. And so if the socket's too deep, we can shave that back a little bit before we reattach the labrum to the edge of it. Uh, furthermore, if the head ball has a prominence and is not perfectly round, we can shave that down a little bit also to keep it from bumping up into the labrum so much as well. And so that's what we, call, that's what we do when we uh, are correcting the impingement, is we're correcting that bony anatomy in addition to stabilizing that labrum. But these knotless fiber tacks from Arthrex are really nice because we can place that inside the uh, inside the bone